Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see exercise 4.3. See first one. It is given that L parallel to M to prove angle 1 is supplement to angle 8. Write the reasons for the statement. Okay. First one, L parallel to M. It is given. What is the reason here? It's given. And next, angle 1 equals to angle 5. See, angle 1 is exterior and angle 5 is interior. One is exterior and the other is interior. They both lie on same side and they are not adjacent. So, these are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Next, angle 5 plus angle 8 equals to 180. See, angle 5 and angle 8, they both are forming a line. So, these are linear pair. Linear pair. And angle 1 plus angle 8 equals to 180 degrees. Angle 1 and angle 8 is 180 means these are co-exterior angles. We can write co-exterior angles. Otherwise, we can write from 2 and 3 also we can write for this. Okay. Co-exterior angles are supplementary. We know that. So, I, we wrote like that. And otherwise, you can write from 2 and 3 also you can write. Okay. From 2 and 3. Okay, either this or this you can write. Angle 1 is supplemented to angle 8 from 4 only. Na? Okay, or co exterior angle also you can write again from 4. In the 4, there is angle 1 plus angle 8 equals to 180. So, angle 1 is supplemented to angle 8. We can write. Okay, and we will see now second problem. In the adjacent figure, AB parallel to CD. CD parallel to EF and Y is to Z is equal to 3 is to 7. Find X. So, we wrote the given. See first here. X plus Y. X and Y are supplementary. We know that. Why these two are co-interior angles. Right. So, here the angle here let it be P. Okay. And y plus p are also supplementary. y plus p equals to 180 degrees. Why? They both form a straight line. So, linear pair. Okay. And here z equals to p. Why? Alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. So, we can write y plus z equals to 180. Okay. And we have y is to z equals to 3 is to 7. So, that means y 3 parts and z 7 parts. So, we can take as y 3 is there no. So, 3a already x we have. So, I am not taking x. So, z as 7a. Okay. Now, in the place of y, 3a and in the place of z, 7a equals to 180 degrees. 3a plus 7a, 10a equals to 180 degrees. Then a equals to 180 by 10. That is 18 degrees. Okay. So, what is a? a equals to 18 degrees. Then what about y? y equals to 3a. So, 3 into 18 that is 54 degrees. And z, what about z? z equal to 7a. 7 into 18. z is equal to 126. But we want to calculate x here. Okay. So, from figure we can say 
x is equal to p right this x is interior angle and p is exterior angle here so corresponding angles corresponding angles so what is p p equals to z so what is z here 126 degrees so x is equal to 126 degrees okay so third problem so in the given figure ab parallel to cd and this ef perpendicular to cd okay and angle z e d so this angle this is g okay angle g e d that means total angle is 126 degrees we want to find out angle AGE, angle GEF and angle FGE. Okay. Now we will see. So now angle GED. This complete angle we have as 126 degrees. So how angle GEF will come? GEF means only this angle. Okay. By subtracting this only now, this will come from total angle. Okay. So, what is total angle? Angle G E D. Angle G E D minus angle F E D. Angle F E D. So, what is angle F E D? Angle F E D is 90 degrees. They gave in the problem. Okay. So, G E D 126 and F E D 90. So, by subtracting, we will get angle G, E, F as 36, de 36 degrees. Okay. Now, next angle G, E, F. Angle A, G, E. See, these two are parallel lines and this is as transverse. This is transversal. So, now this and this complete angle or alternate interior angles right so angle a g e is equal to angle g e d what is the reason alternate interior angles alternate interior angles so what is angle a g e angle a g e equals to 126 degrees okay and next we want to find out angle fg so coming to this picture this is a triangle gef is a triangle so in this triangle gef what is the angle sum property of triangle the three angles are equals to sum of three angles is 180 right so in triangle GEF, angle GEF plus angle EFG plus angle EGF or FGE. Okay, angle FGE equals to 180 degrees. What is the reason? Angle sum property of triangle. Angle sum property of triangle. Okay. So now see these two are parallel lines. So EF is perpendicular to CD means this is perpendicular to AB also. Okay. Now angle GEF we have 36 degrees. And angle EFG, EFG 90 degrees and angle FGE we are going to find out equals to 180. So after adding these two or 126, so after transposing minus 126, so 180 minus 126, it is 54 degrees okay so therefore angle 
एफ जी ई इज फिफ्टी फोर डिग्रीज